Ah, hello, good evening. Um, sorry for the disembodied voice and you can't hear me. I thought I'd make a very short video about something um, discussed on a fellow Ham's uh, YouTube channel and uh, something that I've had about and quite honestly haven't used all of the time. Um, but I thought I'd demonstrate that today. And what it is, it's uh, something called a... MFJ artificial ground. I thought what would be nice is to actually demonstrate what it's doing and talk about it at the same time. Um, what I've got here is my IC7300. As you can see on this little screen here. I don't usually use this for uh, FT8. This is for uh, login software so I can type and log things as I go. Um, but what I wanted to show is like when I do a CQ call on FT8, um, how that's represented on the artificial ground. So let's do that to start with. Here we go. Uh, make sure I've got a clear frequency. Boom, 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 boom. View, waterfall. Uh, click here, don't know. Windows, yep, no one there. No, there is. Always good to check first. And if we put it on CQ, okay. Boop, 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 boop. I could just do this with tune, but I think it's more fun and practical to do it with an actual transmission. Okay. Now I'm using um, 50 watts here, and as you can see, it's transmitting now. Um, 50 watts is probably a bit too much for FT8, um, but there we are, gets me out. Anyway, point in question, it's now transmitting. Uh, so I've got my antenna, which is uh, fed outside. You've all seen pictures of those on uh, my website. Um, and here's the, the thing in question, which is the artificial ground. Now, if we look at carefully at this, we'll see when it transmits, the little meter on it is going up. Um, and that's because it's tuned into, it's actually tuned into a frequency uh, that matches um, and on the back of this is um, the radials so this is all of this equipment here, everything that you see which is our RF the 705, the power supply, the radio even the computers are all left, they're all left on this uh, little racks here, you see in the back they're all connected to each other now, this even this tin foil here, we'll say tin foil, it's a metal, it's just bond, bonding. There's very good book uh, written about bonding and grounding, but here I'm talking about RF ground and it escaping the shack. So, what this is doing, this is my bar, which everything is earthed to, so and that in turn goes to the back um, into this artificial ground. An artificial ground takes the RF power and then distributes it into these radials. You can see the green wire there. Like these radials go out through my window and then are fanned out. So usually these radials will say like my DX commander on the ground, but here they're going out my window and they're fanned out and pinned down um, to the ground. You know? So they're not drilled into the ground, but they're pinned into the ground. But uh, they're taking the RF out of the shack and outside. And also, the advantages of something like this is they clean up the noise. Um, so you'd have to take my word for it, but they do. You know, they, they clean up on a noisy antenna. Um, they they reduce the, the noise significantly. Um, and it, as you can see, this one, you know, there's no power or voltage going through this it's only connected to my um, earthing it's only a ground connector going in you can see here that wire there this wire here and then these radials going out the window so it's only RF energy that's going through them that's powering that and that's taking it out of the shank um, and then obviously one it's not affecting anything in here uh, one of the things that used to happen to me um, is that my DSL connection would go off, um, especially on 80 meters. Um, 
an experienced drop off so I'll be transmitting one minute looking at the whisper or you know uh, P uh, PSK reporter and my internet would go off and that was because there's RF in the shack uh, this stops that um, and it does a very good job of it you have to tune it for each frequency so as you can see if I change it now change the inductance and the sensitivity it changes how much RF is being taken out so it has to be tuned for each frequency but it's very very simple as you can see just first I'll put the sensitivity up on max and then go through the inductance and then adjust the capacitance just you know, slightly tweak it almost adds value you know, to, to learn about how to manage the RF out of the field out of out of the shack um, and yeah you know really really does a good job of um, one stopping things in here um, getting RF going into them and uh, somewhat helping with the signal as well I believe there are other benefits as well I think the one the MF, MFJ says like if you think of a um, an artificial ground as like a, a reflector underneath a lamp um, whilst the lamp is pointing upwards um, it will still produce light that can get bounced back and this is what the artificial ground is doing it's actually um, giving you know like a counterpoise um, it's giving uh, the RF something to push back against so uh, it's helping your signal in that way as well and at the moment I'm only on a 40 metre dipole um, which is spread across the garden so there's plenty of opportunity for noise and interference to come in um, but as you can see in terms of like uh, transmitting and the RF going out of the shack um, it's doing a, a splendidly good job um, so uh, something I could recommend and I think there's lots of plans on lines you can use if you want to build your own keep the cost down it's just a big capacitor uh, in there or you could go and like myself and buy one uh, so you can solve your shack RF problems quite quickly um, obviously the alternative to this is to run um, a ground rod right outside but for uh, a lot of people that that's not something they can do these days me, me included um, I can't drill a hole through this wall and run an earth rod um, right outside so yeah it's better to have uh, this artificial ground and some counterpoise wires running out of the shack. So yeah, that's what I thought I'd talk about. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for listening. Hope it's, it's helpful. Um, hope the explanation is good. Um, don't do many of these videos, but yeah. Thanks again. Uh, stay safe, 73 and hope to catch you on the air. All the best. 2E0FWE. Some trees.